boys and girls. Today we're going to read another fairy tale, and it's called The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, oh, how did this story begin? How did it begin? Right, it began with Once Upon a Time. There's the first of many elements of fairy tales. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived in a cozy cottage on the hill. Wait a minute. So there's three little pigs who lived in a cozy cottage. Pause the video and tell your learning coach if you notice any elements of fairy tales. Pay close attention. They love to eat all the delicious food their mother made them every day. They ate so much that it wasn't long before the three little pigs had grown so big that there was no room for them in the cozy cottage anymore. I'm sorry, said their mother one morning, but it's time you made your way in the world. So the very next day, the three little pigs left home. Don't forget to watch out for the big bad wolf, called their mother as she waved goodbye. He'll eat you for supper, so you'll need to build a big, fine, strong house as quickly as you can to keep him away. Don't worry, Ma, they oinked. We can look after ourselves. And the three little pigs trotted off down the hill each taking a different path. Hmm, how many pigs are there? How many paths are there? Oh. It wasn't long before the first little pig met a farmer pulling a cart filled with straw. Please, may I buy some straw to build a house? Asked the little pig. Of course, replied the farmer, but a straw house won't be very strong. But the little pig didn't listen. Soon he was busy stacking the bundles of straw for his new house. In no time at all, the house of straw was finished and the little pig went inside for a nap. He had just shut his eyes when there was a knock at the door. It was the big bad wolf and he was hungry. Little pig, little pig, let me in, growled the wolf. No, cried the little pig. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, laughed the wolf. And that's just what he did. Huff, puff, whoosh. Meanwhile, the second little pig was walking along the road when he saw a woodcutter piling up sticks. Please may I buy some sticks, he asked politely. I want to build a house. Of course, answered the woodcutter, but a house made of sticks will soon fall down. But the second little pig wasn't listening. He was much too busy planning his new stick home. Soon the house was finished. The little pig had just sat down to rest when there was a knock at the door. It was the big bad wolf. He was even hungrier now. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he growled. No way, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, cried the second little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, cried the wolf. And that's exactly what he did. Huff, puff, whoosh. Meanwhile, the third little pig had met a builder. Please, may I buy some of your bricks to build my house, he asked. Of course, replied the builder. A fine, strong house of bricks will last forever. The third little pig took the builder's advice. He would build the strongest house in the land. Finally, after a hard day's work, the house was finished. It had four strong walls of brick, a tiled roof, a sturdy wooden door, and a large fireplace with a chimney. The third little pig had just put a pot of turnips on the fire to boil when he saw his brothers running down the road, closely followed by the big bad wolf. Quick, cried the third little pig, hide in here. The wolf, who was very hungry by now, banged on the sturdy front door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, he growled, his tummy rumbling very loudly with hunger. No way! Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, cried the three little pigs. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, laughed the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he 
huffed, but the brick house stood firm. The wolf was furious. He climbed up onto the roof and shouted down the chimney. If I can't blow your house down, I'll come down the chimney and gobble you all up. The big bad wolf jumped and landed with a huge splash in the pot of turnips boiling on the fire below. Eow! He leaped up with a scream and ran out of the house never to be seen again. And the three little pigs lived happily ever after in the house made of bricks. The end. Boys and girls, I'd like you to pause the video and have a conversation with your learning coach about some of the story elements that you noticed in this fairy tale. Did you notice the words once upon a time, happily ever after? Was there a problem, a solution? What were the characters and setting like? Discuss the story and make sure you pay attention to the beginning, middle, and end. And then we're going to go through each element of the fairy tales and see what was in there. All right, now that you're back, did this story have once upon a time? It sure did. Check once upon a time. How about talking animals? You betcha. How about the number three or seven? Definitely, there were three pigs, three houses. The wolf made three attempts to blow the house down, three paths. There were so many threes. How about the setting being a castle, cottage, or woods? Yep, it was in the woods and they started in a cozy cottage. Was there magic? No, there was no magic. How about a problem? Oh, there were lots of problems. I hope you were able to discuss them. But one of the biggest problems was that the big bad wolf wanted to eat the three little pigs. And he kept trying to blow their house down. Was there a solution? Yeah, the third little pig came up with a solution to build a really strong brick house. And when the big bad wolf climbed down the chimney, the solution was that there was a hot pot boiling and he jumped up and ran away. How about good versus evil? Sure, the three little pigs were good, as was their mom, but the big bad wolf was evil. Was there any royalty? Kings, queens, princesses, or princes? No, not in this fairy tale. And how about a happy ending? There sure was. They even said happily ever after. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa, eight in this one, just like there were eight in Jack and the Beanstalk. Great job learning about fairy tales today.